when I see somebody's everyday carry video, I'm always in awe that they just are okay with carrying around this much stuff and just being weighed down by it and all that stuff. I find it just crazy. Uh, so I wanted to share more of a minimalist approach to it. Now granted, I add and take some items depending on the day and you know, like if I am going out uh, somewhere new, I'll bring a camera, but this is my baseline where there's nothing added. These are just the few items that I bring almost everywhere. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first one are my keys. Oops. Okay, so the first is obviously my keys. Can't really get back into my apartment without them. I need two of them, one for the front door and then one for my apartment. Of course, I would love to have like a keypad thing so I wouldn't have to carry keys, but this is how it is here in New York and uh, I've narrowed it down to only two. So as far as the couple other keys that I need, which is the mailbox key and say just the gym membership pass, I keep that with my gym stuff so I can kind of do that not in passing but more of a habit or a routine. Next up is the Super Wallet, which is definitely my favorite wallet. I've done a few reviews. I'll link the playlist at the end. You know, really this one's just the best. It's held up the best. It's the simplest. It doesn't have a weird keychain on it or made of leather or extra like weird fancy gimmicks. It's just pure, simple, slim wallet. And it's really awesome. Uh, the texture is really nice. Uh, there has been a couple elastic things that have flung out, but I cut them and it still keeps going, so it's totally fine. Um, and it has everything that I really need. I don't understand why people have thick wallets. Uh, so this is my go-to. I'm a big fan. I actually have bought this for people because I like it so much, so. Next up is the Jaybird X2, I believe they are. I've had them for a while. I've gone through one pair and I totally got them completely soaked and they kind of gave me a discount on a new pair when I rebought them uh, because I sent them in for tech support but they keep going they got better than the first version totally uh, I also added the foam type ear comfort things because I really found that those rubbery ones just weren't that great so I really like that for noise canceling in New York I walk everywhere I'm on the train so I want to tune out everybody and just listen to like some audiobooks or some podcasts. And you know, in New York, we walk so much. So this is my car radio. So that's why I keep this everywhere I go. Lastly is my Google 2 Pixel XL. It's just the best phone. You know, you look up the reviews. I don't have to talk about the phone itself, but I will mention that one, I have a tour of my phone, I'll link that video at the end. But two, I keep that instead of bringing a camera everywhere because the camera's so phenomenal, I don't have to. The only reason I'll bring a camera is if I just feel like shooting with some kind of a different kind of lens or more of a raw capability. I just, I'm in love with this thing and I think it's the best phone you can buy, really. And that's it, I only carry those items, there's nothing else. Really, like the only other items that I add on a day-to-day -day basis are situational based. Like if I have to bring something into work or if I'm sick and I bring some medicine. But that's basically it. Like I don't understand why people bring all this crazy stuff with them every single day. Like how could you, what else do you need? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this everyday carry and it inspired you to maybe pare down a few items. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it and make sure to watch the video and playlist at the end of this video. Until next time, over.